How are you feeling tonight? This is obviously a big night for Game of Thrones. It is. I'm, I'm uh, you know, optimistic and hopeful and nervous and all of those things. Well, you look ready to go. Tell me about the, the, the outfit. Uh, Mario of Beverly Hills, uh, so he's, he, he does some great stuff for me and a number of other uh, number of other people. I'm not nearly as pretty as most of his uh, most of his customers, sadly, but uh, he he does great work. You're looking pretty great to me. Are you a good luck charms kind of person on nights like this? Uh, no, not especially. I lost the first six times I was nominated, so I was 0 and 6 at one point. But then we won two, so now I'm 2 and 6. So. Can I get the three and six? We'll have to see. Yeah, and how are you feeling about tonight? Um, you know, nervous. I mean, it's it's a great field. Um, you know, I, I have uh, dragons on my side, but we're going up against robots and spies and handmaids and, yeah, formidable uh, competition here. So who, who's going to win? Well, that's what the game is all about. And you know, everyone's talking about, obviously, the nomination, so congratulations for that. But a lot of people are also talking about this final season next year. Where, how much time did you spend on set, and, and how are you feeling just about this whole journey, um, you know, at the final stretch next year? Well, sadly, I did not spend any time on set. Uh, you know, I I'm, I'm still have two books to write. So, um, you know, going to set is a lot of fun, but there's really nothing for me to do to do there as the writer of the novel. So I thought I'd better stay home and uh, not go to Croatia or Spain or Belfast or all the places they were shooting uh, and uh, instead concentrate on uh, on the books. I have a new book coming out in November, uh, Fire and Blood, which is uh, the history of the first half of the Targaryen dynasty set 300 years before Game of Thrones. And um, of course, I'm still working on Winds of Winter, the book six in the overall series. And after that, I have Dream of Spring. And I also have a lot of other TV projects. Uh, Nettie, this is uh, Nettie Okorafor. I'm, uh, I'm executive producer of a new HBO fantasy series based on her book, Who Fears Death, which is an African futurist uh, novel about a young woman who becomes a great, powerful, and dangerous sorceress, right? Yes. Yeah. That was a pretty good pitch. How'd he do? He did really well. Better than me, actually. How is the writing process going? You have two books left. There, been, there was so much written about when they're going to come out, how you're doing, how far along you are. What can you tell people? Well, I, I mean, I'm working on Winds of Winter. I wish I'd been done four years ago, honestly, but I'm slow, and the book is very complex, and there are a lot of distractions, but... Uh, I'm making progress and uh, trying to trying to eliminate as many distractions as I can, although it's hard because there's a lot of uh, great distractions out there. Thank you so much. Good luck on the rest of the writing. Congratulations on working with this guy. Can't wait to see it. Have a good time tonight, you two. Thank you.